you can't possibly make an argument to support uh, Sharon Angle if you're a uh, uh, if you're a Republican. You can't say that to Latinos. Uh, and here's why: <laughs> this is uh, Sharon Angle uh, talking to a, a like a student Latino group or a young Latino group, uh, and she has a very thoughtful observation about it. Oh God, I can't wait. <laughs> So that's what we want, it's a secure and sovereign nation, and, you know, I don't, I don't know that all of you are Latino. Some of you look a little more Asian to me, I don't know that. What we know about, what we know about ourselves is that we are a melting okay. pot. So there you go, in, in case you missed that. <laughs> She was. I, we, we want a secure and sovereign nation. Obviously, she's talking about the U.S. and why they need to not let anybody in. Um, and then <laughs> she's like, "I don't even know how many you are Latino. You look kind of Asian." <laughs> <laughs> but what was the point of that statement? Why like, did she have to like, uh, add that to whatever her argument was? Because she's l so stupid. They, the, well, that's they're obvious. so dumb, and so many of these, you know, and now there's a rash of, of, of pieces being written about how the intellectual elite are underestimating the Tea Party. And as a political force, maybe we have been. But the notion that the Tea Party representatives are smart people is absurd. It's so obvious that Christine O'Donnell and Sharon Angle and Joe Miller, they don't read stuff. Mm -hmm. They're not interested in the world around them. I'm not underestimating the Tea Party, and I'm not underestimating or devaluing people who think, my God, government's out of control, we need to pare it back absurdly. And I'm not, even Rand Paul is like, we got to have a, a flat tax and that's it. That's an intellectual argument. Right. Uh, and even Rand Paul's Civil Rights Act nonsense was an intellectual argument. It's wrong, and it's enough reason to go, I am not voting for this guy in a billion years. He has no business near the U.S. government, let alone the United States Senate. But I get the feeling Rand Paul has red stuff mm -hmm. in his life. I don't agree with him on anything, and I think it's dangerous, and I think it's reactionary, and I think he's extreme. But Sharon Angle, man, they're not, who says that? Right. By the way, there could have been Asians there. Right. You know? Some of you look a little Asian. I yeah. can't believe she said yeah, that. Yeah, because there were probably Chinese people there Didn't who they? came out and listened to her, but they do look a little Asian, those Chinese. And God forbid she said it about Latinos. Did the, you hear the classroom after she made that comment? Yeah, like, they're all like, what, what the, the hell? <laughs> what did we just hear? <laughs> oh, my God, Sharon Angle. By the way, uh, JR, slide out of the way. Let me see Jesus for a quick second. Now, turn toward the camera, Jesus. He looks a little Asian. I don't think he looks Asian. I think he... No, oh, take your glasses off. Just take the glasses off. There we go. <laughs> you look a little Asian. A little. Mostly, mostly Latino, but a little bit Asian.